with Ido Minato being the first DLC of this season and them already releasing and announcing Kage and Obito, we know that Obito is probably going to be the next one. And that's going to lead us to today's anime trivia. How do y'all feel about Jubito coming to the game? Is it a dub or a Me personally, you know your boy isn't really the biggest fan of the reskins, but I do think Jubito can bring some things to the game that can be interesting, and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be telling y'all what the jutsus are probably going to be like, what you're going to get, and what to expect for the DLC. So if this is something you might be interested in, stay tuned in the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all those nice things. And let's go ahead and hop straight into this. Just lay out your own domain. Say that was the best you can do, Okay, so we get to the actual breakdown of Jubito. Let's not even waste any time. But before we get into this, if y'all wonder why I hate on my man Obito too much, man, it's just because my man was just the biggest simp, man. So I don't know how you simp for a girl that don't even like you. But let's go ahead and hop straight into this. So one thing, some things that we know about Jubito to know for the DLC, we know that he has all five chakra natures. Of course, there's no Kamui when he's in his Jubito form. He wasn't able to use Kamui. And this GLC is probably going to be orbs heavy because mainly Jubito fights with the Truth Seeker orbs. And this is not going to be like the bar in mode DLC where you get the base Naruto that turns into bar in mode. He's going to come fully as Jubito. So, some rewards that we're going to get, we're probably going to get, you know, two shinobi boosts. We'll get Jubito's outfit because his outfit is different when he's in the Jubito form. Kind of similar to Ishiki, you know, whenever Jigen changes to Ishiki. We should also get maybe his weapons. What I think we might get Obito's staff, which is going to be similar to like the new pistols that we're getting. Maybe. I think it could be a ranged weapon where you maybe use the True Seeker orbs to attack and maybe your Y strike can be like a heavy attack. I think it'll be a ranged weapon that'd be pretty cool to bring to the game. And then I think also we'll get honorary title, 10 Tails Jin Cherokee. These are the things that we should get for the rewards. So we look at the actual Jutsu. This is actually gonna be a lot simpler than Kaguya because Kaguya is pretty difficult. But we're gonna be using some things from Storm to predict this Jutsu because Jubito has a, a little bit of a wide arsenal that what he does with the True Seeker Orbs. But the first Jutsu I believe is going to be the Six Paths Hand <laughs> And it's going to have an 18 second cooldown, the range is going to be about 4, and the power is going to be about 2. And if you remember, he used this in the fight whenever the Kage tried to trap him inside the little, you know, barrier. He used the arms to pull it down. And how this Jutsu is going to work, the user channels ignited flame arms to attack and defend. Enemies who come within range are attacked, while all flying tools are nullified. And I think this is going to be similar to Tailbreaker, but maybe with a little bit more range. Range types don't really have a defensive jutsu that protects them besides like Kamui and things like that. So adding this and you know allowing them to have something passively to keep distance, I think this would be a nice addition to switch things up for range types. And I also, the alternate to this is if they do this jutsu, they could maybe make it similar to Shirado where it just activates the arms and then additional input makes you strike with the arms. But I think it's going to be more of a defensive jutsu. We move over to the second jutsu, it's going to be the Truth Seeking Scorch Earth. It's going to be a 16 second cooldown, it's going to have a range of 5 and a power of 4. This is going to be the new strongest range jutsu that I think, and I think this is going to be extremely powerful. He uses this in Storm, and what this is going to work with, the user merges the Truth Seeker orbs into a single spear and unleashes a beam forward to opponents. Users hit take burn damage. So I think this is also is going to be extremely powerful, similar to how it is when you hit somebody close range with the Severing Wave. So we know that True Seeker Orbs absorb Jutsu, so I think when you have this activated, Jutsus aren't going to really be able to hit you. And as far as the size of these orbs, I think it's going to be like, think of like a floating dome wall, but like with just a wide range blast coming out. That's what I'm predicting this to be like, and I think this is going to be pretty interesting. And then we move over to the ultimate, which I think is going to probably be the lesser of the unique jutsus that's actually interesting, but this is going to be the sword of the Oku, and I think the duration for this one is going to be 3, and the power is going to be 4, so I think this is actually going to be one of the quicker charging range ultimates 
to give range types that quick, fast, ultimate, you know, that you have with attack types like Baruto Stream or Rasengan Unison or Uchiha Shuriken that you get with the healer types. We need something quick, fast, charging with the range types. And the way that this is going to work, the, the fire's true secret orbs knocking enemies into the air. After summoning the Sword of Nanaboku and slashing the enemy in half, enemies hit by the strike are instantly killed. The user has his movement speed and attack tracking increased for a short period of time. So like I said, you're going to throw the truth seeker orbs, knock them in the air, and then you're going to come with the sword and on a boku, and you can hit anybody in range. And I think this is going to be pretty much close to a one-shot, similar to Nagato's Jutsu. And like I said, I think this is going to be quick charging, and that's going to be the thing that actually, you know, makes this more of like a buyer for people. But, I don't know, these are some pretty interesting things that I think for Jubito. And then of course, you know, some extra things, just some things to know. This is probably going to be a Truth Seeker Orbs heavy DLC. And one thing that I can already give a hint with, since he's going to be using the orbs and stuff, Sage Jutsu is going to counter Obito, because if you remember in the anime, Sage Jutsu was the main thing that worked. So, things like Ross and Shuriken and Sage Art Thunder Blast are probably going to counter most of Obito's Jutsus. But let me know in the comments what y'all think about these predictions. Y'all excited for Obito and let me know what other character DLC concepts y'all want me to make. We still gotta hit up Kaguya and one more that somebody requested. So I'll see y'all next time, man. Hurry up.